three flashbangs for them and the P250 in the hands of Nico. They're not going to go for the fast long pick, but Dunny is brawling towards middle, only landing a first shot, but his teammate does manage to headshot Nico in the process. And you can afford to do that with USPs. They're always going to come out ahead against the Glocks. And only the one P250 in the hands of Nico, as you say, getting dinked. He just has to get the hell out of that. A stray bullet and he's a dead man. Guardian, the meanwhile, is going to make a move through tunnels, leaving Oscar on short. But he's going to get double peaked. Two separate angles to watch out for. Olaf's able to trade across the USP. I, I feel like Mouse Sports have got to start this map in, in solid ways. They've got to get some momentum going, or we could just have a repeat performance. This pistol is so important, and Sunny's came out with a huge headshot. That's what they need. They're going to have to find more than that, though. They're dropping once again. Back and forth we go. Three versus three, but a distinct advantage towards Mouse Sport, considering the HP of Nico. Sunny. Finally showing us what he can do here. Nico's already in the pink up. Maybe he's got 4 HP. Rops will take care of him. This is looking promising now, but Olaf Meister and Carrigan. Still with time to work with here. Snacks put on a great show at the USP yesterday with Dust2, but it all goes quiet for now. Still 40 seconds remaining as Sunny patrols towards middle. And Carrigan's been bludgeoned down to just 8 health. So a lot of this rests on the shoulders, the very capable shoulders of the veteran Olaf Meister. All starts of this pick. Snacks, known to play this position, spotted, avoiding the bullets for now. Just wants to run that clock down as much as he can. Great shot to go, Carrigan. Olaf Meister still keeping the dream alive. That's going to yield him a bomb on of these things. And that's pretty much all he wants right now. Can he find anything more? Time will tell. Knows there's one player towards short. A bit of information. It's all about that second player. May think he's CT, may think he's also short. Long could start to come into the back of his mind, but he has to focus on the prize at hand. And there goes Rock, a player that... That's usually the outcome of most defaults here. Snacks will be there on the other side, though, only with the UMP. Even if he gets flashed round, he's in a very compromised position. They couldn't get up the steps, and now taking grenades to the face doesn't get much more brutal than that. Surely Snacks can't get anything done here. Does significant damage and gets the kill, the smoke. Actually keeps him alive here. I'm surprised no one traded him out. But he gets to five versus four. Still so much more work to be done. Sonny without a weapon will join him and try and pick up the fallen weapon. He just knows it though. It's so aware. This is why he's considered one of the best. Waiting for them to trip amongst themselves. And now four versus three. Oscar, Molotov out of position. They've seen him towards Goose. They'll keep flashing that now, but it's not enough. He still takes all of Meister before he goes down. Presumably doesn't get another, but he's doing such a good job here. Leaves Nico in a two versus one, but he can't win this one, Vince. Eight seconds remaining. He'll have to drop down towards Spawn. And Robs will be waiting. Clubbone holding on for dear life. 3 1, forcing FaZe to put all of their money on the table. They're going to get a scout and an AK, but that tries too hard to turn the tides of this round and it's backfiring phase they've picked up two all off down to just 18 health but focusing deep on short chris will be towards gt spawn if they do get the cross here it's going to be extremely difficult to read it chris they isolated by making it work a gap in the smoke and oscar's there they're rotating in now and they actually have pulled it back to an even keel guardian on the ramp and this is actually looking promising for Mouse Sports once again. The bomb is down. Guardian in the compromised position. Great to dink. And Nico going for the backstab is not going to work out. Mouse Sports doing a tremendous job here. An excellent job of equalizing and then taking that equality and throwing it away. Bomb's been dropped out onto the site, making Olaf Meister and Guardian's job that much more difficult. Especially that they only have minimal health between the two of them, but they're going to go for the plant at least guarantee some money flow into the next round but Olaf Meister is gonna have to sit on the bench for the time being leaving Guardian to try and pivot off the site won't be happening now sports pick up a 4-1 lead rely on one of his teammates to toss down a smoke and save his life they were too focused on Snacks who was pondering towards their position Olaf Meister though he's gonna give the advantage to Faze maybe they don't require the AWP after all somewhere Chris J isolates them in towards long takes the kill and Robs is looking like a stone-cold killer now but the problem is is the B bomb site is open smoke goes in to provide Nico a little bit of solace here as they'll try and get the bomb down but my god the smoke is no good it's actually disastrous you can see Nico trying to bounce it off the bomb site there I assume the idea is a lot this is where the superior firepower of mouse sports should really come to the forefront they can smoke off, smoke off the entrances the only downside is there's no mid presence whatsoever anymore, so they're going to be very much caught back against the wall, but out comes Rops. He's got two, and Chris Jay's bagged himself one onto Olof.
Losing. Just two more players to find, but Reigners came in. Wow. Nico is going to get himself the knife. Oh, and the second one is going to connect two up to Stani. How has this even gone down into a 1v1? This is unbelievable. It has set up Rain perfectly, and this is Face Clan in a nutshell. And Rain delivers in the one versus one. Between Mouse Sports and yeah. Face. And the CTs right off the bat trying to take a bit of mid control with an early peak with Oscar and Chris J. But Chris J is actually going to land the shot. There we go then. Carrigan's running into the B side though. And he helps himself to a kill. Robs will go down. I don't think he's the solo player. Kills are plenty now. This is a chaotic round. Kicking things off in style. Nico can't connect the shots though. Three versus three as Carrigan continues to apply the pain in the B bomb site. Flashbang coming through. Chris J has to hit the quick scope. But Carrigan using the smoke as a veil. He'll get back. And this Guardian, here's the footstep. He probably has the advantage as he misses the shot. Will he recover this? That was his kill. And Noska will actually fall back and go towards Shaw. He knows he's out of that one. As now. AWP's on this retake. Carrigan looking to get more and more kills. Two to his name so far. Chris J is going to be so close. Can he become a Colossus? Yes, he can. Carrigan, because of his low health, just had to sit there. And this is where the plant could really hurt Guardian. Oh, it's not going to be too far enough. He can't stop this deep use. It's coming in. And Chris J is going to cultivate the clock. Put down is going to stop the peak for the time being. We know that FaZe have the run boost in their locker, but when they have full weapons, maybe not going to be something they fall back to. Oscar, there'll be so many smokes in his eyes, but spot rain just in time to deliver the fatal strike. And Carrigan again, we've already seen him do this with the UMP. He's going to rip through Oscar. Sunny in the meanwhile has to stand firm and he has crumbled under the pressure, allowing Carrigan to go for the plant. Another three on three retake. This time though, no Molly's HEs to play with and only one kit in the hands of Snacks. Snacks is still towards long though and they know it. Everyone knows that he plays deep in that position. Guardian though. Great shot by him, and now Carrigan patrolling CT spawn. Olaf still making sure short is covered. I don't think the CTs will go for this. They don't have enough money going forward. They need to save these two weapons. That rush, Vince. That's the way it's done. Get stuck in as Rain will be pushing through the flames. But Rob's just got the line up here. He'll only be good for one as Carrigan here. All the footsteps towards lower B. He'll have to wait, though, as they decide to fall back. He's putting so much pressure, though, on the CTs once again, but Snacks. And he's gonna roll out with the first kill in this confrontation. It does give Mouse Force the player advantage as Rain went down earlier. On the fast play on to B. The bomb is also been planted down. Putting Mouse Force really up against it. Of course, the last round of the half. You better oh, believe no. they're going for it. That Molly is horrible. Yeah. Just that goes in mid-air, does nothing at all for FaZe. And our Guardian is going to have to turn his attention to tunnels with a flashbang, proceeds the peak, and it will be Sunny with the Whoa, desert. Nico, how Nico! And Nico should be landing that shot. Instead, Oscar destroys him, and Mouse Sports will get a 10-5 lead. They could be going for something fast through the doors here. Olaf Meister will be ready towards the window. So the USPs could come into play, though, this kind of range, mid to long. It's going to be arduous for the terrorists, that's why they put the smoke down, but Olaf still will drill into Snacks' forehead. Coming through with Guardian getting kills, but Mouse has still managed to run over the corpses of their enemies and get that bomb planted. Nico, the first responder, to try and pioneer back onto the territory now of Mouse Sports, who planted their flag firmly on B site. Chris J. Spots himself rain, but just in time to have his head taken clean off his shoulders. And Oscar missing out on that first shot probably spells doom. And FaZe will pick up the second pistol. Perfectly, Mouse Sports, that is, because Oscar's got the AWP up against two scouts at SMG. This really does not look too good. Sunny makes his way out towards long range. So much to deal with here. He'll get one, but tagged up heavily. One more player waiting in the smoke. That's Sunny waiting for his moment to strike. But the flashbang comes through. Who gets the next kill? Time will tell. Carrigan once again aggressive with this UMP. Three versus three now, but great shot from Nico. Keeps them in this round. Well, this gal can't really overcommit, but he does, and Oscar will take him down. That's the A side completely open. Nico is the last line of defense there. They've got a little bit of time considering they still have to smoke and cross over here. Olaf Meister heads towards Long and Guardian and CT spawn. Bomb not quite on the side yet as Oscar patrols towards Long. Can't time it well enough. He goes down to 35 HP and has to reposition towards the car. Jump shot coming in! Doesn't land just yet! And Guardian might have to wait for his teammate now. Oh, Olaf Meister needs to bring the thunder. 
in this round. Smoked out. It's worth going for. He does have a kit in the smoke. It's going to be such a difficult task to expect him to clutch this one now. Two separate angles, just making sure no one is sneakily hiding in the smoke. Using his shroud, and there's Oscar. Second, some mouse sports have got to get a move on. All 10 players still alive and by and large healthy. Smoke will force Rain's hand to maybe push through this, and he's going to find three players, only going to be able to get the one kill. But that's going to turn the attention and some of those terrorists, they couldn't help Chris J on his endeavors to be. And it's just a divide and conquer approach now from FaZe. He's doing an excellent job of holding the line. That's going to be the most difficult thing, but if Carrigan goes down, Guardian's got almost no chance. They're going to split it from long and short. Tension builds, the pressure palpable, and Snack looking to claim an entry, and he's done just that, but Guardian is going to hold the line, Mouse Sports need to push out, otherwise it's going to be very one-pronged, one-pronged because they're going out on short, they're not getting anything out, so Guardian Ooh. is cleaning house, and nearly picks up a fourth, that could have put the round to bed, as it stands though, it's a two on three, make it all down to Chris J, he's had some big plays here on Dust2, He's been a figurehead of Mouse Sports, but he's going to get caught from multiple angles. If a position, Olaf Meister knows there's potential threat here. This will be a beast split now. You can hear the time dwindling down, though. 15 seconds coming up. Guardian's been flashed, but Olaf Meister has his back covered. Bodyguarding into a double trade in favor of FaZe. They may concede the bomb plant, but in the 4 on 2 retake, they would still be favored to take it. It's going to be down to Rops and Oscar. How can they hold? Oscar going to go aggressively into tunnels. If he can get this kill, it does allow him to relocate, but he twitches away at the worst possible moment. And now Rops, the young Estonian, is about to get pinched from tunnels. He's going to pick up one, but no second. And FaZe will hit the double digit. Grenades from FaZe. Orthmeister is going to use the smoke. And again, it's this tag team duo of Orth and Guardian that are doing so much work. The players are solid. The CZs are primed. And the bomb will get planted. FaZe almost in nightmare territory now. Going for another retake. They're both in the side of that point, but the CZ's just too close for comfort. The smokes were spot on, and Rain is stuck in a very compromised position, but he hits an amazing shot there. Now it's a three versus two. The bomb getting to about the halfway point here. Of course, FaZe have the kits. They have the utility. Can Snacks and Oscar hold this one off? The bomb ticks away, and here they come through the window, looking for the frags. It's just Snacks now. Has he got anything left in the tank? No, the bomb should be defused at this point. It was so close. It was looking so good, but the defuse will be achieved by FaZe. Gonna be sticking together with their UMPs. Hoping the SMGs have enough firepower to fend off the potential push, but they're gonna go aggressive. Sunny does just spot a pixel of a head protruding over short, and he's gonna go down with the ball in his hands. Rob opens up with a bit of spray himself, but it's a three on three. Faith are struggling. They're nearly completely submerged. Can Mouse Sports finish off the task? Oh, it's on a knife's edge right now. Three players towards middle for Mouse Sports. They don't have an amazing amount of control, but Rain there, low HP, UMP only. If he goes down with nothing, that should be the map. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Snacks will find him. Carrigan and Guardian now, really with nothing to work with. Carrigan's got a pistol on the A side. They're coming in thick and fast. How does he even get one kill here? He's got a flashbang. He's not going to use it. Has to pick up the CZ. Good for one. Is it going to be enough to set Guardian up here? Well, if there's one play he'd want in these kind of scenarios, it's Guardian. With his AWP, he hasn't had the most impact on Dust2. He's been a bit disappointing, but he could really make amends here. He's going to miss out on that shot. His position compromised. He has no kit and only a smoke. And that smoke has been tossed out. It's looking like it's the beginning of the end of Dust2, ladies and gentlemen. And Mount Sports will take us to prey. Thank you.